also ma'am you are a renowned personality you everybody knows you but in short i would like to introduce you with the nishtha shrivastava so ma'am is a founding president of shrishti bharat foundation gujarat united nations awardee and national president of council of women india's chamber of commerce and industry president of gujarat state chapter and international ambassador global goodwill ambassador global advisor chief overseas women wing of international golf circuit committee member of world hindu economic forum co-founder of hello women womenia on the global uh, digital platform so much ma'am so much so oh, good to know you <laughs> so so much so now let me introduce about the nishtha ma'am Nishtha uh, Srivastava was announced milestone Miss Asia International 2021 on 20th September 21 after 6 day of the pageant held in Dubai UAE there was consent of the more than 40 countries who represented their nations and crown brought home by a small town girl Nishtha who hails from the city of Lakes Bhopal Nishtha you are uh, coming from a middle class family never had planned something big in her life but she has done and she has proved herself that none of less she is something that she has done it <laughs> thank you so much neharika that was really lovely it really means a lot yeah thank you thank wonderful, you wonderful wonderful so uh with uh, your permission ma'am dr mehta can we start yes yes certainly yeah i'll be asking you uh, some questions both of you will answer it okay. and it's a common questions it uh, on womenhood so ma'am uh, let's begin why women are equally important to men uh should should i start yeah yeah ma'am please women are the epitome of the family mm-hmm. without women i think nothing is possible okay. the first thing i would like to say that she is she is so so important that she gives a birth to a child you know a a thing a living being that that's when the her importance starts then she nurtures that child she looks after her family she looked after her lo- loved ones so the women are so so important to the family they are the pillar of strength of the family these are the niharika these are the basic things that women are very important in our society community and to the family without them the family would be nothing she care, takes cares of her parents in laws her children her husband her husband's uh, family her family so she is so so important you know she is the pillar of not only the family but i think the society and the community without empower, empowering women the society and community would be nothing so i always say when we empower women we empower the society community and thus the nation that's what i have to say okay very nice ma'am very very well said so nishtha yes. my question for you is what barriers to women's equality still exist today mm-hmm. so first of all the harika i would say dr mehta has given a beautiful answer yeah. and now come on to your question about barriers that women feel in their life or usually come across so first thing you know i would love to start when we are having this beautiful session you know people still say that uh, man is the identity of a woman 
I would just like to add one point. So in literary terms, when I'm from literature background, so you know, that is always there in my mind. When we spell women, it is W-O-M-A-N. So man is inside a woman. So that's the first thing I feel every day in my daily life. And now coming on to the barriers, I would say, you know, still people regard a girl, a female, a lady to be, you know, to practice things in her life according to the man of the house who is considered to be the main, you know, to be the main person of the house. But then I feel beside every man who takes care of the family just in little bit of financial terms, which is also overtaken by women these days into very strong terms. Women is the person who actually make things possible in the world, in the house, and in a man's life. As you said, barriers. So, you know, barriers, I would say, the more we have grown, still things for women are not very simple in the family. We talk about empowerment, but if you ask to every girl, every simple, you know, female of the house, they still feel a lot of challenges to fulfill their own passions and dreams. So, you know, words like responsibilities, etiquettes, mannerism of the family are still very heavy. But then I feel as a girl, as a daughter of my very proud mother, that it is not important to, you know, always keep doing things for other, please others. It is good that we're taking care of them very well. Let's tap our back for that. But it's very important to make sure that if there are any barriers in our way, we break them out and make sure that we live our life on our own conditions and fulfill all our dreams. So I feel barriers are there, but let's not keep them aside. Just let's throw them and walk ahead. Very well said. Wonderful. Nisha. Very well said. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Mama, anything you would like to add, Dr. Mehta? Uh it's regarding the barriers that I think that women should overcome the barriers. She would, she should not feel that the barriers are there, challenges are there. They are all the stepping stones to success. So right. she should fight the fight out the challenges and the barriers and just go ahead with her mission. Yes. I think uh, we should give the wings to the women and she it can wherever she can fly and she can show her personality. She can do whatever she can. She has the more powerful women in the world. So we should have given the wings to them and so that she can shine. Right. And Absolutely. So, yes. So, uh, what women's rights are being violated nowadays? Uh, women's rights are violated because um, it's not only in a rural area, but in urban, two-tier, three-tier cities, in the metro cities, still the uh, mindset, I must say that mindset of men communities, societies are still, still very narrow. Mm -hmm. So that's why they are violated. You must have seen during these uh, challenging times of COVID that domestic violence cases were on very, very high note. That's very, very sad about our society. NCW, that's National Women Commission in Delhi, received uh, you know, uh, they didn't receive in 10 years, they received in two years so much complaints about the domestic violence, physical abuse, sexual abuse of women. That's where the women uh, rights are violated. Even, the, even during the office, the Posh Act, I must say the Posh Act is working now, but even, even in the corporates, in governance, the women rights are violated. They are sexually abused, physically abused, and uh, mentally abused. There, I think the government is, Indian government is taking steps to overcome this uh, violation of their rights. And I think more and more public policies and in Indian governance should take care of women violation rights so the laws should be very strict so they are not violated. Women are 
respected uh, and they can live with dignity not in in their home but also in their offices in the corporates in the governance everywhere the women should be respected and they should leave work with dignity yes yeah dr mehta one question it is not in my script but it has come into my mind i just wanted to know why we women have to prove ourselves every time when we are doing much much better than these men so we are far away uh, we have left them away but we still we need to prove ourselves that we can do something why we why a question has come to always a girl child yes uh, niharika did a very nice question uh, quick answer i will give it to because still the mindset you know i talked about the mindset of the people is very very narrow still people acceptance is very low that women can do such things now women are excelling in uh, each and every uh, field in defense in sports in Uh, corporate governance in politics in uh, uh, social work in philanthropy everywhere music art women are doing wonders better than uh, men but still the acceptance power you know the acceptance power the mindset needs to be changed so the awareness uh, should be created uh, more in our societies and communities that women can do it that's where the gender equality comes you know gender equality this year the U un uh, has a theme that which is gender equality for today for the sustainable tomorrow so that in one sentence i should specify that we should create awareness that women are so so important and they are doing such a such a wonderful work in all the fields possible in the defense also women has excel so much so you you must uh, like imagine how the women are excelling but only thing the awareness and the mindset of the people our society needs to be changed and it will happen nearika slowly and steadily will happen uh, and people like us will spread this yes absolutely absolutely yeah. very well said ma'am mama you also have talked about sustainable development just now so why is the gender equality the most important for sustainable development Uh, Nishita, okay. I want to take this. Yeah, no. I would. I would like that, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> so, when we talk about gender equality and sustainable development, these two words are related very strongly. So, one simple example: as we all are working women, we go to offices, we take care of a lot of crowd around. I would talk about that. You know, in previous days, um, you know, jobs were divided on the basis of genders, but now. you know we have taken this throughout and now when the women have grown in all the fields of different different job it has been observed it has been seen that they excel amazingly not in just household chores but in corporates in you know all these out things which are away from houses and not just as employees and you know tier 1 tier 2 people but they are big leaders women are taking care of nations women are taking care of the world women are taking care of each and every you know new entrepreneurship things i would take so you know in the last 2 years we've seen that 80% of entrepreneurship uh, um, you know startups which were made women were a huge huge contributors in those so i feel for a sustainable development for a sustainable tomorrow where we actually see not just independence of nations but independence of human independence of genders equality is a major 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 contributor yeah i agree with you nishtha even the indian army has agreed with this point so that's why indian army has given a permanent commission to the ladies officer also so that's so yeah that's a commendable job they have done so uh, moving on towards the next question my next question is how the de- uh, how does the gender equality affects the society 
डॉक्टर मेहता सॉरी इट्स वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन जेंडर या जेंडर इक्वालिटी अफेक्ट्स द सोसाइटी हाय राहुल जेंडर इक्वालिटी अफेक्ट्स द सोसाइटी इन ईच एंड एवरी मैनर it starts with a neharika it starts with the family itself you know uh, when the parents have one daughter one son and when some guest come they would tell the daughter to look after the guest the hospitality exactly. hospitality part and everything it's not that that the son has also to look so it starts with the family itself it starts in our homes then it's it, it's so important that uh it's okay that we can tell our sons also to look after the uh, uh hospitality part to look after the guests and uh, so then it's uh, in abroad it's coming it's uh, not that bad uh, globally but in india is uh, i think it it should start improving then it goes in uh, then let me take it forward uh in the schools in the universities even the girls are looked down upon uh during their menstrual hygiene uh, they they say that she must be tired and uh, she's she is considered to be the weaker sex uh that she would not perform in sports that mindset is there incorporates the uh they are looked down upon the how uh, she will take the leave during her pregnancy her marriage so how she can perform she will she has to look after the family so that again the mindset comes but slowly slowly the people are changing and i think the gender equality is so so important and you know uh, the statistics and the uh, the survey is that women are more empathetic they perform better not only in family areas but also in the corporate governments governance in the in the business because they her nature is very empathetic she is more intelligent it is been proven that the the figures say so and the examples i have is see the indra nui kiran kiran chow smriti irani they have proven themselves to be like that very well That's said special. ma'am very well said ma'am so yes, uh, yes. ma'am uh, let's uh, wind up the meeting because it's only the 7 minutes are left so uh, nishta uh, would you like to give some message to our youth on women hit yes yes that will be a lovely opportunity niharika so first of all i would say this was a very nice amazing set, uh, session where when you know we've discussed a lot about what is the situation in the of women in the present society and how much we need to you know make sure that we make our presence and be valued by ourselves first so my message to all the people hearing us out is you know from the families that we come from still women are considered to be the weaker section of the society as dr mehta said but then it is the women of the house who has to make sure that she gives equal opportunities to all the females of the house uh, that's the main thing that we need to inculcate in our society in our houses and the other thing that i would say is we women are very sensitive and of course we are very powerful also but at times we by ourselves commit mistakes to you know put our uh, things into second level of priority third level of priority which is a blunder let's stop doing it let's make sure that if we have something related to our work it is equally important to the men of the house so let's not compromise let's not stop we really have a lot inside us which probably men don't have so let's make sure that we explore all the potentials don't stop ever because sky is the limit and you know when i see the females around myself i feel there's so much beauty around it's just that we are not realizing it and we are not awarding it so let's start doing it let's not stop and let's keep ourselves on priority one always that's very important nearika uh, i would really like to say that 
we are uh, women empowerment nowadays is a uh, the thing and i would really like to uh, quote that to all the lovely soul sisters women daughters around the world that women and women are already empowered it's the if they are not empowered we should snatch the women empowerment and take it to us and if you are <laughs> not given a chair in the office during the meeting just snatch a chair and just do it just attend the meeting you know you should be very bold very brave and that's the empowerment right beautifully said dr mehta that was nice yes yeah thank you so thank you boldness so boldness and braveness is very important right that's very important yeah very well said ma'am thank you so much and uh, on with this note i would like to thank you for joining us today we are thankful for the time you have spared with us now we would like to present a small token of love russell of book club presents ebooks by author rubina ramesh she could not join us today due to time variations unfortunately the two books she has written are destinite and knitted tales the link for the same shall be shared with you by mr suri and destinite is a story of a woman whose finan whose fiance leaves her because she wants to look after her father according to uh, the fiance as a woman her only duty was to look after her husband's family she breaks the engagement and marries her boss in a contact uh, contract marriage how their understanding turns to love is the journey of this couple knitted tale is a collection of short stories which deals with emotionally twisted people psychological thrillers understanding human minds and relationship is the main aim of this anthology so we would like to share the links with you ma'am so uh, thank, thank you. you so much you have thank shared, you so uh, much shared thank you your thanks so much you are with us so on this women day it we would like nice to uh, thank you on both yes. the beautiful ladies happy women's day to all of us <laughs> not the incredible women yes. shine on not just today every day just keep shining right. keep shining there is a sky is not the limit and for us and break right. the bias and absolutely the bias. Yes. <laughs> thank, thank you. you thank you so much thank ma'am. you so much thank you so much thank yeah. you thank you nia thank you all thank you, thank you, so thank you dr mehta bye 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 thanks